gosh, what an absolutely That's massive really play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the stage, he gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Happy Tuesday. Yesterday we started with this new team and we ended with this new team and the new team was actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. I still got some pocket things I want to show you on the team. I'm really excited and I'm hoping we get to see him today. We are currently ranked third in the US. 1939 is our point scheme and that's going to put us 79 is first. 1979. Um, so we got a couple points. We got to get up there. We got we to get up there. Then again, hmm, played this team twice so far. You guys saw how that went. We'll see if it works out. None of this is the same as the stuff you've seen in the previous episodes of these same Pokemon. Like the sets or at least something is different. Except for the Porygon. The Porygon, that's my go-to man. Puddles the Duck. That is my man. And he's going to stay here probably for a long time. Because Mega Gyarados, Mega Salamence, they're such big threats. Porygon's like really good at shutting that down. Okay, he's got a Mega, I don't. What's a Mega? I don't know. He's got some stuff as well. He's got some interesting, he's got an Araquanid. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Is he gonna do the thing where he puts me to sleep is the question. I think if he does, I'm, I'm leaning towards, immediately leaning towards Feramosa, Celestila, and Mimikyu here. I'm not gonna tell you why particularly, although, can I beat his Celesteela with that? Like, did it, okay, I guess, do I want to bring Lantern is the question. Lantern's probably, unless that's, if that's the sleepy form of Zerkatry, and it might be, plus three HP ground definitely KOs me. Definitely KOs me. So that could be dead weight there. I do survive one Mammal, no, do I survive a Mammal Swan Earthquake? I, if it's Jolly, I do. Um... He doesn't really have a great switch in for a kick either. I might lead Feramosa and then have that U-turn option to Celesteela and a Mimikyu in the back. <sighs> I'm using Mimikyu to make sure that I can stop the Zerkatry actually, um, which also help against the Lele as a threat to switch into the Kangaskhan. Celesteela, can it squash the bug is the question. Hmm. One of my other ways of getting rid of Mammal Swine is definitely Porygon, because Mammal Swine has a hard time doing enough damage to Porygon to stop it without getting some crits and, uh, you know, some five hits on Icicle Spear. Because uh, it's not guaranteed. It's not like a Cloister. But, I don't know. I, I felt like I had a lot, of op a lot of options on what to bring here, and I'm not sure what's the best choice because I haven't used this team that much. We do see a Kangaskhan. I probably don't want to take the fake out. I, do I want to bluff the... Because obviously High Jump Kick gets him. So he's either going to switch. There's, there's no way he stays in, right? He's either going to switch. But if I switch now, am I willing to take a fake out? I guess is the question. I take like 50% from fake out. I don't think I want to take a fake out. But I also don't want to lose my um, disguise. Because if he stays... Okay, I'm actually going to go into... I'm going to go immediately into Celesteela, and I think that's the right play. He's going to stay and he's going to fake out. He might actually not Mega in case I went into Mimikyu so he could break he could break the, the disguise. Yep. Oh, no, he's going to Mega anyway. Okay. He's going to make a fake out. Okay, Celesteela. You can do it, buddy. Let's see here. Heavy Slam actually does quite a bit of damage, so I'm going to look. I'm looking for that, actually. I'm not sure how much Kangaskhan can actually do to me. It's pretty decent damage. I've seen Ice Beam. I know they learn like Flamethrower. <sighs> I'm just gonna Heavy Slam, I think. I know, okay, wait. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I mean, you look at that, right? You look at that moveset, and you're like, the flip is going on. That's a good question. This may or may not be Assault Vest Celesteela. Physical Assault Vest Celesteela with um, decent speed. Zerkatry coming in. I might be able to survive that. And I'm thinking I might have to go for it. Let's see here. That's good damage. I do have the Earthquake, so I definitely can pick him up. I'm sure he wasn't expecting to take that much. Um, if it's Modest Zerkatry, I'm pretty sure I survive from here. He can do up to 168. Oh, well. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Earthquake him. That would be modest. And that would be max hit. So I'm gonna just trade him right here. <sighs> He's trying to get greedy. I'm not afraid of you. My Celesteela is here to beat electric types, just like you. <gasps> Please don't be Shuckleberry. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. That's probably really good stuff. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a clear switch, right? Oh god, and now I'm going up. It's, it's, guys, it's over. I think it's over. I one-shot the Kangaskhan now. I one-shot the Kangaskhan. I, I, I one-shot. He's gonna have to, oh no, he got hit. Oh, I didn't hit him? Oh, I hit the, no, never mind. I don't one-shot the Kangaskhan. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, but I might two-shot. I could flame charge for some boosts. Do I want to boost, or should I just, like, trade this man? I don't really need the boost, do I? I don't need to. Like, who cares? Let's just heavy slam him. Heavy slam for some damage. That way we don't have to risk a high jump kick later. He's gonna fake out. All we've taken is fake out damage. I, for some reason, thought that I had heavy slammed the Kangaskhan once and not the circuitry. But, like, okay, it's okay. He was so confident I was gonna switch. But I was just not gonna switch. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Rock Tomb. Dodging. It's a 95 accurate move, so... But it was going to slow me down. I think that's his only way of hitting me. Never mind. I almost one-shot that Kangaskhan. You know what to do now. We boost. We boost. Flame Charge gives us a speed boost. And we become the fastest Celestia in the land. I can't believe that worked. You should see my notes. This was the notes I was drafting up. Oh, you can't see them because I got a green screen. These were the notes I was drafting up. Yeah, I can't show you, but um, I literally had five Pokemon and I was like, I need something that fits this role. And I was like, I need to beat electric types. And I was like, oh man, there's nothing I can do to do that with. And I was like, oh, Assault Vest Celesteela. Guys, it's a, it's a threat. Like this is a threat of a Pokemon. Was that not incredible? I thought that was incredible. I thought it was incredible. I don't know. That's just me though. I thought that was so funny. 1954. I mean, it'll catch someone off guard. They caught that dude off guard. Like, because even if he was modest, and they almost always run jolly anyway, especially if they're the hypnosis one. I, I survived it like 97% of the time. He only has one damage roll on modest that can one-shot me through my assault vest with the HP that I'm running. And I think I actually have four special defense. Never mind, he couldn't one-shot me without a crit. He could only do up to 164. Even modest, so we were just banking on not getting crit. Is that a 2000? Show them the power of the Celestila. Okay. I'm gonna write that down because that looks like a. If he can get 2000 with it. And it's Mega Lucario, which is such. I hate it. I can't believe he's using Prima, though. He's not ready for my. my, uh. My Celesteela. But then again, it's not actually that great here except for against his Magnezone, which is kind of counterintuitive, but that's true. Um, I'm going to go Pheromos. Oh, do I really want to lead Pheromosa? Getting in on this Lucario is not going to be easy. Although I do use Celesteela against it. But he's got... Okay, look. Here's, here's the deal, though. He's got Double Dragon, and that's so good for Porygon. Just Porygon's then bad against Celesteela, like the, the right side. It's good against the left side, bad against the right side. Pheromos is kind of, is pretty good against the right side. Pheromos is pretty good against everything here. Um, Lantern is really tempting for me. But if I get punched, like I'm super wary about that Lucario. So I think I need one other thing to stop it. This can theoretically stop it if he punches me. If he hasn't Swords Danced. He might KO me if he Swords Danced. So maybe I'm going to go Mimikyu just to be safe. Let me take a look here. I can get him if he's just gonna just punch me right off the bat. But at plus two, Mega Lucario is, that's just a huge threat. Yeah, I can't survive that. I think single-handedly Mega Lucario is the most broken Pokemon in this game. The most in single, Battle Spot sing singles. It's just, it's too strong. Adaptability is too strong. It's too fast. It's got too great a stab. And then with Earthquake, it covers everything that basically could resist it. There it is. Okay. Okay, this is a 2000. 
This is our first 2000. I, I'm just, we're just gonna do our thing. We're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna do our thing. Does he stay in? This seems like you, it seems like you wouldn't stay in here, right? But I don't wanna pop the Z move yet. I can go into, unless you think he's gonna attack. Do you think he's gonna attack? I don't think he can risk it. I low key wanna ice beam. But then I'd lose this thing and then I might lose the match. Does he go into Salamence? Should I do this? I should probably U turn. Probably gonna U turn here. He stayed in? This monster. What a madman. What a god. Good thing I didn't Ice Beam though. Mimikyu's gonna come in. He's gonna. He might sword stance thinking I was going to switch out. I think that's focus sash counter Lucario. Is that possible? Is that not terrifying? Okay, I don't have the Z move anymore. I can go for a play rough. Well, no, is that about the same damage? It's like a little bit more. I don't want to go for two play reps. I'm going to probably go for the Swords Dance. I'm going to Swords Dance. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Because my Mimikyu... My Mimikyu, by the way, is totally... Wait, what's his Mega? If it's not this, what is it? I'm Focus Sash, so I'm gonna take another Bullet Punch. I would possibly take another one anyway, but I, I, I'm definitely Focus Sash. <sighs> I, uh, Shadow Claw can't miss, and that might be exactly what I need just to make sure that I can safely get out of the scenario. Oh no, I Shadow Snuck! I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Uh, Shadow Claw would have got him. Well, do I save this thing? God, I'm so dumb. I literally, because I'm looking at the top screen here and it's really tiny. And I just didn't read it right. And now I'm dumb. This is fun. This is so fun. This is so fun. I'm having a blast. Having a goddamn blast. Well, it would have really worked out because he would have died. Shadow Claw was enough. I only, I have to go with this. I'm not gonna die jump kick him. Ice Beam should theoretically do enough. So I'll get him with the Ice Beam, I think. Please don't be super bulky and survive this. I'm gonna feel so stupid. Yeah, he's gonna think I'm, he's gonna break his, my sash, but I don't have a sash. So I don't really care about that. Which means technically, as long as he doesn't crit me the next time, it'll be okay if I don't KO, okay. So we lost a plus two Mimikyu for no reason and we took damage on Pheromosa for no reason. Good job, team. I think I'm gonna get a speed boost. Okay, great. <sighs> it's gotta be Mega Salamence then. So he only runs Mega Salamence. I wonder if he'll send, he won't send that in. He's just saw Ice Beam. I was hoping to hide that. Magnezone. Okay, you think it's Focus Sash? Because I have two options. I U-turn and then I sacrifice basically <sighs> Porygon to try to beat the last thing if Porygon can. So if it's one of the two dragons, no, if it's one of the two dragons, I want Pheromos out here anyway, right? You think this is Focus Sash? Yeah, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this to try to win with the Pheromosa. Oh, he thought I was gonna high jump kick. You think it's Focus Sash?
Because if it's not Focus Sash, I should Jump Kick it. <clears throat> I should 100% Jump Kick it. I might go for Broke here. I'm going to go for Broke. The Protect changed my mind. And I could be wrong. I could absolutely be wrong. And I don't need this, but I just want to make sure if he switches or whatever, I don't miss or something. <sighs> Am I making a mistake? Is it sashed? I, I guess I can't know. Honestly, it could be a lot of items. It could be a lot of items. So I'm gonna go with that. I don't think it's sashed. Into guard chop? I think I'm gonna, if this is sashed, it's gonna die now. In fact, it's probably gonna get knocked down to just about death. Okay, so, okay. I wish I had killed the Magnazone, but obviously he's, he's saving it. We still have a chance. We're still in this. Depending on what the Magnazone is. And depending on... I don't take I don't take rough skin here, by the way. He might need to get a double protect. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got another speed boost. Pheromos is strong, guys. It's really strong. It's really strong. It's too bad I brought Porygon. Isn't it? Because this thing just did all the damage. And I don't have like a great way to hit this thing that's not high jump kicking it. So do I go for double high jump kick? Is the question. Should I save it once and go into Porygon? I mean, U-turn's not very effective. But at the same time, how much can... I, I, I have a chance to free... I'm going to go into Porygon. I have a chance to freeze it here. I'm gonna high jump kick now. I keep changing my mind, but these protects keep doing it for me. Oh, 90 accurate move. Oh, 90 accurate move. Please don't let him double protect. Please don't miss. Yes! I've played this team four times, and you've seen all four times. And Ferramosa is so big. Guys, this whole team's gonna go on Patreon, because I think you guys need to play it too, because it's so good. Let me take a look at what our score is. 1973, oh, what is this garbage? We're six points behind first. Second place, second place. That was our first 2000. That was our first ever playing against 2000. Oh my goodness. Guys, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Come back tomorrow and see more Ferramosa butt-kicking action. See more Assault Vest Celestila. is so strong. It just kicked the shit out of that guard chop. I didn't even use my last Pokemon. I barely even used Mimikyu. I mean, that could have been, and that probably was Focus Sash Lucario. So I should have, I should have, yeah, it was Focus Sash Lucario. That's why he stayed in for the kick. He was going to counter. Oh my god. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Come. 12 p.m. PST. Fight for first. Episode 35 tomorrow. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm, probably 35. I don't really know. But yeah. All right. See you next time. Peace.